Good morning, y'all. Mason here, coming at you live from Oklahoma. It is early September right now. I'm up here at Oklahoma at the 260 acres that I have access to. It's a nice, cool morning. Little north breeze blowing. Gets me ready for bow season. Today, I am coming up here to move some of my trail cameras around to more of a hunting strategy. Putting up some mock scrapes as well and uh, checking all the trail cameras to make sure everything's squared away for bow season. Just walking up to this feeder, there's some hogs out in this field. I've got the wind in my face, but all I brought was a pistol with me, so we'll see if we can't make a good shot. That was fun. <laughs> I'm not sure if I hit anything, but that was good to keep the pigs in check. That boar that got the closest to me was probably about maybe 15 yards. I probably should have taken my shot then, but I thought he was going to keep feeding his way towards me, but he ended up turning around. And then there's a little piglet on the right. Not sure if y'all could see that kind of had its eye on me. Of course, I'm wearing a gray shirt. The one time I don't wear like a green one up here. If any of y'all would be interested in one of these slick hats right here, let me know down in the comments. We'd be happy to get you one. Let's get after the deer stuff now. Check this little guy out. So I just pulled up to a spot that we call the creek bottom. Obviously, because there's a creek bottom going through there. There's a deer that just ran off over there. It's a good sign. So yeah, it's a creek bottom that's got a bunch of pecan trees running through it, scattered with some oaks as well. It's usually a, a pretty good spot here early season. We've got a bow stand is just right back up in there. I'll check that here in a second. But this is where I've had quite a few good deer coming in. So let's go ahead and check this camera. That's the guy that we call the Slick Eight. <laughs> Good deer. Go ahead and save that one. So since we've got some good deer coming down in here, it's pretty hard for me to get down in here, you know, undisturbed, just to check a camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my cell camera down here. Normally, I, for hunting season, I take my cell cameras off of the feeders and more towards the trails. But since they're coming down here hitting the feeders. This is a good early season spot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the new Moultrie Edge. I already got it connected. I set it up last night at my house. It's a pretty cool concept of a camera. It's got two different SIM cards in there, Verizon and AT&T, and it'll connect to whichever one's stronger. Up here, I believe it's going to be AT&T. But pretty dang simple right there. Just a couple buttons, 
see if it'll send us any photos. Bingo. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a mock scrape down here in the bottom. I've already got a T-post drove from one that I did last year. I've got a cedar tree back here behind me that I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down with my Sawzall. So I've got this scrape tree positioned on the T-post. My bow stand is right over there. We've got plenty of branches for them to work and whatnot. I've got a little piece of rope that I'm gonna hang off of an edge. I feel like the rope absorbs the scent just a little bit better. And then they should just take over after that. I've got my piece of rope right here coming down to about waist level, so it's easily accessible. My bow stand is right over here. So I want the deer to come up to the scrape and work it like this. They're gonna be focused on that and I'm gonna be able to draw my bow while they're not even looking at me and they'll be already positioned for a shot. So as far as scents, I use the scents from Buckstick. They've got a, a pack of three that comes in there. There's a pre-orbital spray, a forehead gland spray, and then an interdigital spray. Now that I've got that spray on there, I'm gonna go ahead and rough up this dirt a little bit. Down here in a spot that I call the water hole. Just put this guy in a couple months ago. As you can see, the deer have just been hammering it. My buddy came and filled this up mm, about a week ago. He came in here as well and threw out some throw and grow food plot seed and see if we can find any sprouts. I'm not sure if we've gotten any rain since then. I'm not really seeing anything. Dad gum trail camera that I had on that water trough wasn't taking pictures, of course, but I can tell it's been getting hammered. I just wish I'd know if there's any good bucks running through here. Uh, I've got another camera over here I'm gonna check. So I'm up here on our tripod looking over this water hole. As you can see in the morning sun, it's hitting you right in your face. And it's not the best setup in my opinion. I don't know what I was thinking. Whenever I set it up, there's a water hole. Yeah, that's probably about a 24 yard shot right there. But there's a spot just right over in here that I'm gonna put a pop-up blind. Well, it's time to fill up this water hole. Got a 30 gallon trash can and I bought it at Tractor Supply. I just fill up with the garden hose. It takes a couple trips, but it works. I've been looking up in some of these oak trees and I haven't seen any acorns. Bad for the deer, good for the hunting though. little fella round two of filling up the old water tank should be the last go around for this time I wish that trail camera would have been working because it seemed like those deer have been hammering it. it hasn't been too hot so I don't think it's been evaporating at least it wouldn't lose 50 gallons in two weeks for evaporation you know but I guess a deer could easily drink 50 gallons in about two weeks, so we're gonna put another 30 gallons in her and hopefully that'll keep those deer nice and hydrated and sticking around come bow season. I 
there are red wasps all over this water hole. Let's hope I don't get stung. I'm at a spot now that I call the road scrape. There's a road that runs through here, right through the middle of the property. It connects two big pieces of timber. And during the rut, this is just an absolute highway. I've got a bow stand right up here above my shoulder. And I usually run a cell camera right over here during the rut. And these branches right here, right here just get tore up. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a mock scrape on there and uh, hopefully we get those bucks rocking and rolling. There's another trail back here behind me that usually leads out to a, a food plot, but we didn't plant that this year. Unfortunately, we didn't get around to it We've been having a bunch of tractor issues. So it's grown up a little bit right now, but I think that'd be good. Deer might bet up in there. They're going to browse on all that native vegetation in there. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my leftover piece of rope. I'm gonna go ahead and take a zip tie and zip tie both of these together so I can secure it to uh, two different limbs just in case if one breaks off. I just got the ground roughed up down here so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my artificial scents on there. Once again, I'm just doing the pre-orbital on the piece of rope and then I'm gonna do the interdigital on the ground. Just one to two sprays tops. You don't wanna to do too much because this little goes a long way. There you have it. There's two mock scrapes put in. Hopefully these will just be a, a buck magnet here. And uh, I guess they should be start opening up here pretty dang soon. So I've got my bow stand right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and climb up there and take a look at it. So as you can see, there's my tripod that I was filming from. And that scrape is just right through there. I'm gonna see if I can't get down and trim this branch coming off. That tree limb's just a little bit too high for me to reach, so luckily I brought this Forester attachment for my weed eater. This thing is awesome. Y'all need to get one. blade there you have it well thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today my work here is done and all I got left is one other trip just to fill up the feeders about a week before season we'll be ready to rock and roll come October 1st hopefully y'all are out getting your properties ready as well if y'all like what y'all saw today let me know down in the comments make sure to hit the subscribe button as well we appreciate every single one of y'all Gosh dang flies.